What's going on guys, Liam here and it's time for Teamless Tuesday for round 15 of the 2023 NRL season. And this one's a juicy one. There's There's been appeals for HIAs, there's Origin stars, did they get through the weekend out? And did Dylan Brown get stood down or is he named for this weekend? You're going to have to wait because Parramatta are playing last. <laughs> Suckers. Alright, let's go. Game 1. AJ Brimson back, that's awesome. I love Campbell, but I love me a bit of Brimmy. I, th I think he's been really good in the games he's been in this year. Um, a couple outs, Chris Randall and Dave Fafida. So Khalees Haas comes in for Fafida. And um, Jermaine comes in on the bench as well. Brett Naden out. I actually thought he was out anyway, but Tiger's relatively unchanged. So they're just flying. This is what happens when you've got youth. No injuries. Or not many. Not as many injuries. That uh, fountain of youth. All right, Raiders. This... Croker's 300th. God damn, that's going to be a huge, tough game for the Waz. Um, so Sebastian Chris is back and Smith Shields is out, but Jared Croker back into the, uh, the the center position and Sebastian Chris in as well. So Rocco Berry's out as well for 11 days, obviously, after getting knocked out cold. Um, so yeah, that was, that was a rough one. And um, uh, Jai Arrow, no, Jai Arrow, what's his name? Jared Wallace got suspended for that one as well so um a couple implications from that big collision but it was rough it was rough that one now tom travoyevich named got his he's not his charge his hia downgraded to a category two which means he doesn't have to um wait the 11 days <coughs> and he's back he's back so is cherry so is aloe how good brad parker out cooper john's out and morgan boyle out too and uh damn a few for the for the Dolphins as well. The, man, I'll tell you what, the Dolphins, I was like, yeah, they could win some games if, you know, they, you know they're safe or straight, they get lucky. They were getting, never had the depth tested chronically this year and they're still just winning games. It's nuts. Hamaso back, Joe Marshall King back, and Possa, how do you say his name again? Famasili? Famas, is that how you say it? Famasili? I think I did okay there. Sorry for butchering your name. If I did, brother. But, um, yeah, so, damn, man, poor old Dolphins getting tested again. God damn. Can I believe they're still sitting in the eight, considering all the injuries they had in their new team? All right, on to the Dragons versus the Bunnies. Taft, obviously, Latrell's still out. Shaquay Mitchell, big Shaq, locking the scrum. How good. Jed Cartwright back from a HIA. Havili back too. How, that's massive. Havili's really good. I... I I was I was a big fan of what he was doing at the end of last year. Um, he's a he comes on as it's, it's not their version of Brandon Smith. How well how um how Melbourne used to use Brandon Smith. You just like play a bit of lock, but just if you're not just run hard, tackle hard, smack dudes. And um, yeah, he, he's great. He's super underrated. Why? Well, he's one of the most underrated players in the comp. He's great, super handy out of dummy half as well if you need him. Cam Murray and Joy Arrow out. And um, we'll see soon in the injury list how long they're out for as well. Jack DeBellin obviously getting knocked out cold too. Um, so uh, he's out for 11 days as well. Murdoch Masilla comes in, locks the scrum. Jack Bird back, but only named in the reserve. Same as Amon. So we're not too sure if they'll actually be playing. Now this was interesting. Broncos v Knights. I was like, damn. I feel a bit sorry for Jesse Arthurs here. I think he's been brilliant. Um, I know Corey Oates is a origin, maybe not legend, but origin player. And, you know, he's done all the good stuff. And his comeback game filling in for Cobo was, I was like, God damn, it was, it was one of the, man, Corey, Corey Oates, hey, he's just, when he's on, he's on. He's just, just scooping the ball up at his ankles. Like, he, he can put down the easiest balls, but he was just on it. But I tell you what, he was um, he was unbelievable and um, so when Cobo named too but god damn like this is why I like Jesse Arses in there you know Corey Oates does have errors in him so when Cobo has errors in him Reese Walsh has errors in him that's your back three that's dangerous dangerous um, so yeah we'll have to wait and see how that combinate they haven't really been together this year Reese Walsh Corey Oates and so on Cobo um, but yeah they were all in, that we, so I think someone was fourth and then it was second and third in errors last year. So this will be really interesting to see how they, would they stick to this if one of, you know, if Corey Oates, because oh, Jesse Arthur's under the high balls has been absolutely brilliant. He's been really good. Um, Tyson Frizzell back in as well. 
that's good. Um, what happened? Oh, Origin. Oh, and then there was a buy. I was thinking, what was he out for? <laughs> Daniel Tupo back for the Roosters. So Roosters versus Penrith. Damn, big game for the Roosters. I uh, got the dub last week, but uh, damn, just, just. Um, and Joseph Suali'i is out, so Tupo slots straight back in. But the big one, Nathan Cleary out for the six weeks. Having said that, this Jack, Jack Cogger dude, I thought was when, when Cleary went off, I was like, Nathan who? Nathan Cogger's out there, man. He was, uh, he was really good. Um, I was pretty impressed with him. Um, uh, J- Jamin Salmon comes back in on the bench. So, yeah, he looked like a gun. Like He looked really, really good. So, um, really interested to see what he's like in a full game of footy. And, um, yeah, we'll, we'll have to wait and see how it sort of goes. But it's like Penrith have just unearthed another one. God damn, how good are they? Last year was O'Sullivan. Reece, no, not Reese Walsh. Um, Cleary goes out and O'Sullivan comes in. And, like, obviously not as good as Cleary, but not too bad at all. Not too bad at all. Storm Sharkies. Oof. Olam out. Sims in. And um, Sharkies relatively unchanged as Cam McKinnis comes in. But oh, I feel... Man, I feel sorry for <laughs> these guys. Eh? It's just Connor Tracy and... So Brandon Trindle and Connor Tracy are dead set first graders. Eh? Like they're, they're walking into a, a lot of teams and playing playing first grade each week without their spots on the line. It's just, these guys can't get a run. These guys can't get a damn run. Put it this way, if Connor Tracy was at Parramatta, he'd be playing. If he was at, oh, jeez, I could think of a lot of teams. He'd be, jeez, actually, I can't think of a lot of teams off the top of my head. Uh, but he'd be, he'd be in, he'd be in um, for sure. He'd probably be in the Roosters. I dare say he'd be probably, oh, possibly in the Knights, possibly. Oh, probably not the bunnies. Probably dra- no, nah, not the dragons. They got good centres, but yeah, solid, uh, solid player, man. It's a bit of a shame. A bit of a shame those two guys can't get a proper run. Ooh, did you see it? Did you see if Dylan Brown's in there? Did you see it? Da, 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 da. One more. Da, da. He's playing. Dylan Brown not stood down. God damn, how crazy. So um, just on the thing. So apparently, so he got charged with five counts of sexual touching again i don't quite i think it's someone said the names changed from sexual like indecent behavior so whatever it is but it's been changed to sexual touching and apparently the automatic stand down is from if your sentence is going could be more than 11 years or more and uh dylan the maximum sentence for that sexual touching charge is like five years so um he doesn't have to be stood down Parramatta or the nrl can sort of step in and issue a suspension but it doesn't look like they have so um pretty crazy but Parramatta getting some troops back i mean lost and and wira mcgregor's been brilliant but uh regal campbell gillard of junior paulo back andrew davy back so looking pretty damn solid you like you slap uh you slap um jeez oh, offering gower and wira mcgregor on the bench here and that's a pack that's a pack man that's uh pretty damn good so uh, Bulldogs, Jacob Carraz back, Reed Marnie back. Reed Marnie's another one. I thought he was stood down for 11 days too, but because uh, he failed his HIA, but I guess it's even though he failed, it was still only Category 2. That's what I'm assuming. Um, so he's allowed to sort of play. Um, um, and who else is in? Cole Flanagan as well has been named, but he's on the bench. And uh, Josh Reynolds and Ryan Sutton out. Fuck Reynolds. Reynolds out. And uh, Sutton, so that's it, guys. We flew through that. We flew through that. But yeah, big ones, I guess. Dylan Brown, Turbo, um, and then Cleary out for a long time. We'll, we'll have a quick look at their casualty ward. But um, so Selwyn Cobbo, this is this came out just before the team list, so he's obviously okay to play. Howard and Iris are out. Sebastian Chris obviously been named. Whitehead for Canberra, he's not going to be back till well, might he hasn't been named this week, so maybe next week if you're lucky, sort of thing. Bulldogs, god damn, look at this casualty ward. So we know Jacob Carouse is back, Marnie's back, um, Luke Thompson back round 16. So starting to get some troops back. Burn 17. Kick out, not till round 22, though. That's a bit rough. And I didn't know this. Mariner's out with an illness indefinitely. I hadn't even heard about that one. So um, Toby ruled off. Um, so McKinnis has come back early. So he's round 16. Um, for the Sharkies, um, Toby, uh, yeah, Toby Rudolph. God damn, I forgot about him. He's a gun. How deep are the Sharks? 
Toby Rudolph's round 18, so not too far away either. Dolphins, Branko Lee, so he's been named, so that's fine. Jeremy Marshall King, he's been named, so he's fine. Uh, Kafusi's round 16, O'Sullivan 16 to 18, so he'll be back soon too. And Toby Gilbert, shoulder, he's gone. Gone for the year, round 24. Not back till 2024. Gold Coast Titans, we got four and out till 17. Brim, it says Brimson 17, but he's back this week. Um, who else? Manly Seagulls, Josh LAA, yep, back. Tom Travojevic back. Aaron Woods around 17. Um, Jake Travojevic, damn, not back till round 19. That sucks, so we can't play Origin. Uh, Melbourne Storm, Olam, um, not too sure what happened with that one. I don't know if it was from the head knock or if it was something else. Anyone else here? Josh Pezzett, he's begun round 17. Pappenhausen, indefinite. Oh, that sucks. Newcastle Knights, Heimel Hunt, 2BA. Lachlan Fitzgibbon, round 15. Except he wasn't named, was he? So he might, might have had to prolong that. Jaden Bradley, season. Damn, that sucks. Warriors, Rocco Berry, he'll be 11 days. Freddie Lussick, I think that's... It's Freddie Lussick out. I didn't think he was out. Oh, yeah, he was too. Yeah, damn. He was out. But he didn't play last week. So that's why he wasn't on the out list. Um, Dylan Walker, round 15. He wasn't named either, was he? No. So Dylan Walker's still out. So I guess that means he won't be too far away. Tamari Martin. He's a gun. He's going to be back soon too. Corsi, 16. Tavanga, 17. So... New Zealand getting some troops back over the next couple of weeks as well. North Queensland, um, Jason Tomalolo, 15. He wasn't. Oh, they've got a buy. Um, so he, he should be back next one. I heard it was pretty close this week. James Tamo, indefinite. Wow. And Chester out for the season. Oh, he didn't ACL. That must have been a Q Cup. Must have been a Q Cup. Parramatta Eels and Gowie, to be confirmed, uh, to be announced. Davey, 15. Ryan Madison, back 16. Okay. So they're getting Madison back too. Next week, so that's huge. Campbell Gillard, round 18. He's coming back early. Ooh, round 19 for Sean Lane. So, still still got a few out. And Wonga Blake, indefinite too. Collarbone, wow. Damn, that sucks. Uh, Panthers, round 21 in season for Nathan Cleary and May. Uh, the tri oh, not the tri which, South Sydney Rabbitohs. We have Cam uh, Cameron Money. Uh, money. <laughs> I'm sure he's got some money. Um, two, TBA. Um... Yeah, groins are a funny one, aren't they? Trail Mitchell says round 15, but he's obviously not ready. Uh, Arrow, round 22. Ouch. Tom Burge is indefinite. Havili, indefinite. But he's back. There you go. There you go. This site was obviously... This was uploaded this morning, so obviously there's been some uh, quite a bit of movement today. Uh, Jack DeBell on 16. Laurie, 17. He's been big for them, so he's... Uh, who else? Gordon. I thought it said Gordon Ramsay. Um, Sydney Roosters, Tupo, 15, is back. Sam Walker, round 16, but will he be picked? Victor Radley, 17. Brandon Smith, 19. Connor Watson, 20. Paul Momorowski, 22. So they're staggeredly getting some troops back. Uh, West Tigers, um, Staines, indefinite. Dewey season, ouch. Ouch, and that's it. God damn. So that's, uh, that's a team list, guys. That's the injury list, guys. That's an injury ward, sorry. And, um, yeah, thank you all so much for watching, guys, and I'll see you on the next one.